We are exactly halfway through our Mai Tai experience here at the camp resort in Chiang Mai. But before we continue with the second part of our training camp, let us briefly catch you up on our journey so far. How are you feeling? I feel like I had 20 points last night. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even have a drink. We were given our brief from our trainers. Punch, hook, upper, elbow, knee, kick, push kick. We took part in our first ever Muay Thai session. Oh my God, we were absolutely wrecked. There's actually a lot more to it than you think. Like it's oh, not yeah. just punching and kicking. It's like, you really, really have to think about what you're doing. We did our first ice bath. Usually your nose, out your mouth. Forget about the fact that you're in an ice bath. We're slowly but surely improving our technique. One, two, push! Nice! Yes, yeah, well done, Samantha. Nice! Finally! <laughs> and we got to see exactly what a local Muay Thai event looks like. Everybody is Thai. Me and Samantha are the only foreigners. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Joe! The plan for the next couple of weeks is to continue our training, to try and shift some weight, explore some of the surrounding areas. Oh Jesus, now the, the, old, the old us would have been parked right outside this place, but uh, not anymore, we're new people. And add a little TLC to our bodies. But for now, it's training time. Okay, so we are now past the halfway point of our Muay Thai journey and um, so far the takeaways have been all very positive. We seem to be getting fitter, which means that our you know, performance in the class is just improving every time. Makes the class actually a bit more enjoyable when you're not, you know, dying, <laughs> you know, <laughs> gasping for air. Uh, also, we've kind of gotten over the initial, uh, I suppose you'd say, niggly injuries and things like that. So, like, things that you get, like, wear and tear on your knuckles and your feet and things like that, they seem to be healed and not returning, which is, we kind of talk that anyway that you know once we started and um, that these things would just kind of disappear and they have thank god also as well the level of the class we find ourselves getting so much quicker which is amazing because like mm. at the beginning i was like i'm never gonna get this like there's so much to learn and think about mm. and like just by doing it every day you sort of automatically it's starting just, to become a small bit natural doesn't it, it come so natural like yeah, it's yeah, crazy yeah. you just have to give it time and mm. danny did say that at the beginning as well he was like give yourselves at least a week to get into it mm. obviously now we're in it a couple of weeks but um it's uh, we can feel ourselves so much better like and our punches and all are so much quicker and yeah. feel stronger and so much fitter as well our weight is coming down as well we're not eating a hell of a lot oh actually do you know what we're probably eating the right amount it's just that before yeah. <laughs> coming here you know uh our eating uh, habits was really really bad you know so that's another takeaway from coming here is that we've we've realized that you know we can go x amount of time without eating and that's no problem where before we might have been like okay we just were hungry or we might even be bored and it's just like we'll eat we're here our body is getting used to the way of life i guess you'd say here with like you know long periods of time without eating which is great because you, you feel a bit lighter you feel you actually feel a little bit more energetic because when we were eating so much before you get so oh, tired you, you can know tired yourself, you go you into just... like a food coma <laughs> and like you just crash then and oh my god i can't move it's mad how much you actually appreciate good food that's one thing as well i'm like i never appreciated good food so much yeah, like yeah. in a long time anyway like we've been eating some salads and stuff as well and yeah. like how nice a salad is i know it's just your whole uh, your whole kind of psyche has just been completely changed we, we sit down we have a salad and we're so excited because we have an for hours and we've yeah, been training yeah, and things like really that so. do appreciate but it's a good way it, like, it's a good way to be i think it's definitely a good way to be mm. and i'm so glad that we decided to do the camp and mm. i'm glad to i can't wait to finish out it out as well and uh, hopefully then carry it on throughout our travels like mm. like we've learned as we said about eating like this we don't need half of the food that we eat so we're hoping yeah. that like we this has taught us to just, there. you know, continue that yeah. on and just appreciate our bodies and what we put into it. <laughs> Go warm up. As we spoke about in part one, each session starts with some skipping. Hey, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no stopping, come on. Speed, speed, low. No stop, no stop, low. Okay. Break. 
break. Okay, okay. Water break. Uh, Come back. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Four minutes. <laughs> of skipping. Oh, it's funny, me and Samantha just spent the whole four minutes of that skipping warm up uh, talking about what we're gonna get for dinner today. <laughs> oh my god, I know. Oh. It's terrible, isn't yeah, it? But it is. You look forward to it so much more. That's the one thing as well. But, you're like, you're training so hard and you're like, do you know what? I'm gonna reward myself with a nice dinner at the yeah, end of it yeah, then. Yeah, like, so yeah. you'll really look forward to it. And mm, yeah. as we were talking about already, like, you appreciate food so much more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking they do a gorgeous falafel salad. Please, please. Across. You have to go and check. Let's go and check. Oh, that's just not gonna happen. He's not gonna have your falafel. It's out. You don't have. No. <laughs> With feta cheese and like a load of veg and oh my god, it's amazing. So uh, we might get that. Anyway, we might get a, that. We have a training session. <laughs> Enough of the food. Let's train. <laughs> then we move on to the technical side of things, which is probably the hardest part of the warm up. As I said, I'm absolutely sweating. The sweat is rolling off my face, and we're literally only after doing our. Stretches at the beginning and then we went into warm up and now we're just working on technique work so we haven't even gotten to pad work yet. <laughs> we're still at the stage where we're sweating, that's how good the workout is. Probably the heat as well might not help because we wouldn't be used to that but it's amazing, it's great. <laughs> Oh my god. And then once we're warmed up, it's time to jump into some pad work. Okay, thank God that bear's over. I hate it, but as I said, it's part of it. Now we've got to get the gloves on because we're doing a little bit of pad work. And another thing, we're drinking so much water, which is great because I never, ever drank enough water. It's just one of them things I always struggled with. I'd like go all day and I'm like, I never drank water. <laughs> but uh, now we're drinking liters of it, like because we're sweating so much, we're just downing it into us, which is great as well. So I'd say we drink at least three of these every day. Yep. Shut. Shut. Ah, good, 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 yeah. Shoot. Ah, shoot. Ah. It's amazing when you see that clip of Samantha there, you can see that the, the power and the force in her punches and her knees now. It's just, all that is, is just down to technique. She's able to, to punch, use her body when punching, use her body when, uh, you know, giving a knee or a kick or something like that. And that's what the coaches are teaching us. It's not necessarily about being like super strong and powerful and things like that. It's just about using the body in the right way and then that will generate power and force so it's amazing to see after the weeks that we've been training the, the difference in things like Samantha's jab or her knee or her straight punch and stuff like that and she's hitting pretty hard now our pad work sessions generally focus on all the moves allowed in Muay Thai and all the different combinations this is our favorite part of the training even though it gets harder and harder as the session goes on once the session was over it was time to cool down and finish with some stretching the next day we decided to get some tlc for our sore aching bodies Okay, so we're beside a motorway. It's a little bit manic, a little bit hectic, a bit noisy, but that's about to change because we're going for something really, really relaxing. We're going for a massage that has been recommended to us by um, the camp. We've actually had one massage since we've been in Thailand, an oil massage. They do do different ones. There's like a Thai massage you can get. It's supposed to be really rough, but I think we're looking for a nice relaxing one. And because we've actually got the oil one already, I think we might go for that. When yeah. we get there, but like they have a list anyway um, in the resort where we're staying and all the different prices and the different massages that they do. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, especially yeah. that we're training right. now. That's we what I was gonna say. Yet. Our bodies have been through enough to be getting, you know, <laughs> rough massages that'll probably actually be better for us. But to be honest with you, we just want something that, you know, makes us relax and chill and just enjoy it, basically, isn't that it? Oh, yes. <laughs> So what will I do? Get off your shoe and put inside for being a big first, like a bit. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> After all those kicks. I know, my feet badly need it. There are bits <laughs> underneath. I've never seen my feet look so bad. <laughs> Massages are a funny one because I don't actually get 
as many as I probably should. Every time I get one, I'm like, God, that was amazing. I need to get them more and more. And then, like, a long period of time goes by before the next one, and I haven't actively, you know, went out to get one. But definitely while being in the camp and training, you can see, like, the recovery is just as important as the, as the actual training. Funnily enough as well, the day after a rest day, training is so much better. You've just got that little bit more energy, and you're a bit quicker with your punches and your kicks and things like that. So having that that day of just you know a bit of TLC for the body is just absolutely works wonders especially when you're training with the amount of intensity that we are you know Right, so I'm finished getting my massage done, and that was just amazing. I'm so relaxed after it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next time. Yes. Next time for Next sure. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Over the next few days, we continue to keep up the intensity in our training and try improve each day. Sub, sub, bus, sub, 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 Nice. Elbow. Shop. Ah. Up. Shop. Shop. Hey. One, two. Two, two, four. Two, 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 four. One, two, two, three, four. Pump. Get lip block. Hey, shop. Ah. Shop. Hey, hey. Boop. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. Pablo, Pablo. Okay, Pablo. Okay. Okay, so this class is a bit different. We're doing like circuit training, so we got four stations. There's five people doing this class. Station one is just strictly boxing. Straight, uh, station two is like uh, low, low kicks. Station 3, which is the one Samantha is on, is um, high kicks and knees. And then Station 4 is a combination of everything of punches, elbows, knees, kicks and things like that. So there's four stations, five people, so I'm on rest. And then I'm going to come into the circuit and one is going to come out. So it's a little bit different than what we've been doing, but it's still all the same sort of skill set and things like that. So uh, And the intensity is high, which is the main thing. So Our weight was coming down and our combinations were getting faster and stronger. Do it again! Jump, jump! Jump! <laughs> As we approached the end of our camp, we decided to take a little venture down to the centre of Chiang Mai to check out the local market and try pick up a few bargains. Okay, so we've come down into the centre of Chiang Mai into... Actually, Chiang Mai is kind of known for a lot of its night markets and stuff like that, so uh, there's a big kind of night scene uh, here. There's like a lot of um, stalls and stuff selling like clothes and then like uh, little kind of handcrafted bits and then there's a lot of food as well. The food in Thailand, the street food scene in Thailand, we probably keep saying it in all our videos, it's just unbelievable. You, as soon as you walk in, the smell of everything, they do like desserts, they also do like obviously dinners and lunches and stuff like that. It's absolutely just unbelievable, the variety. But there is also a lot of clothes um, and that's kind of why we're here. We actually haven't been down to Chiang Mai town that much in the time that we've been in the camp. Um, so we're on the lookout for a little bit of clothes. Well, Samantha is and uh, I don't know, how are you getting on so far? Loads of stalls, um, so I'm seeing loads of lovely little vesti tops and dresses and stuff. Not too sure what way it works in the market, so if I can try them on or not. So that's a bit of a down downside then for yeah, me, yeah. because I like to obviously try stuff on before I buy it. But yeah. we'll see, listen, we'll have a little nose around like mm. that. We're heading to the islands next, so uh, pick that's up a why few we bits. came down here to pick up a few <laughs> bits. But like that, as Keelan was saying, the markets are deadly. They literally have everything in it, honestly. Yeah. I'm looking at so many stuff and I'm like, oh, I'd love to bring that home as a present, and I'd love to bring yeah. that home. They, they have a lot of like cool little quirky things. Yeah, yeah. Um, we also seen even a stall that have like a phone and camera accessories and all. Yeah, so exactly. You yeah. get like a lot Anything of things you want. here. Yeah, yeah. And then the food section as well is just unreal yeah. from like ice creams and mango sticky rice and beers and just yeah. everything. And what we love as well about Thailand is um, it's just the atmosphere in the food courts. It's just, I love the way everyone sort of just gathers and they all have their dinner it's social, outside. Yeah. It's real, real sociable, yeah. Mm. And uh, might have a beer or whatever. And then there's like a bit of 
mad entertainment going on there <laughs> we're seeing in the background but yeah no they're cool the markets are, are great so hopefully it's a success and we can find a few bits oh jesus now the the old the old us would have been parked right outside this place but uh not anymore we're new people but uh just on the prices so the these kind of markets as well are obviously a little bit cheaper than like the the, the higher end kind of pubs and restaurants in the other part of the city so like for a beer for a chang beer a tall one is like 80 bats uh, for a small one it's 60 bats same with the leo and the singer so they're like the local beers then for the hoine again it's 120 bats so it's a little bit more expensive for the imported stuff but yeah these markets are brilliant for that people just come and socialize they can drink and eat for very very cheaply food and Thai dishes as well and um, we're just looking at the prices it's crazy compared to restaurants mm. like it's really really cheap probably yeah. like more than like less than half the price Oh yeah, no, for sure, yeah, yeah. Like there was a there was a vegan vegetarian sort of stall down there. They were doing like a tofu uh, curry for eighty bucks, which is just <laughs> That's for nothing. nothing. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, and you can probably get cheaper. Like I'm looking there, fried chicken rice forty, 40 bucks. Chicken noodles forty bucks. Fried pork rice fifty bucks. American like it's... fried rice, and then they put in it. Oh my god, I love it over here as well. So with their rice, it's something that me and Caelan probably would have never done. They put a fried egg on top of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's just so good, isn't know, it? Oh yeah, it's amazing. It's a great mixture. Like cause you do have fried, like. For egg fried rice, yeah, but yeah, with but an actual egg, an egg yeah. and on top of it, yeah. and it's like a dippy egg, and you put into it and it drips all over. It's amazing. Yeah. Real quick, let us show you one of our new favourite travel accessories. This right here is the Out and Nano portable espresso machine, and it's our new favourite travel accessory. It's the perfect solution for coffee lovers who are always on the go, like me and Keelan. It has a fast heating technology and long battery life, so you can enjoy a pipe and hot cup of coffee anytime, anywhere. It's incredibly easy to use and it has a three minute self heating feature so you can have your coffee ready in no time. With the two-in-one coffee method you can use both ground coffee and coffee capsules whichever you prefer. It's also available in loads of different colours and as you can see we got the forest green one. It's compact size and lightweight design makes it so easy to carry around so it's ideal for backpacking trips, camping trips, if you're someone who likes to go on hikes or if you're someone who takes long distance drives. We've absolutely loved trying out the Out and Nano and it's become, as I said already, one of our favourite travel accessories. You can't wait to bring on more trips with us. You can get worldwide shipping, a one year warranty and a 30 day replacement. And today we're also giving away a 10% discount on your very own Out and Portable coffee machine. To get 10% off, simply use our discount code GOTIME10 and click the link in our description. And now back to the vlog. Right, it's been five hours. I'm pretty sure I didn't have the beard at the beginning of this vlog. Anyway, ding, 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 we have a sale. Woo, we have one dress. <laughs> I need to try it on, and there's no dress there. <laughs> the old markets aren't great for, uh, for trying on clothes. You're going to have to just do it in the, uh, in the street. <laughs> right. Better, right. Better, better, the shopping is not done just yet. Samantha has broken her duck, so she's on a rampage now, I'd say. As we have left the market, we're just at the f stumbling out onto the streets, and it's same sort of deal i'll just show you yeah it's just an extension of of the market inside same sort of stuff that they're selling oh sorry with the sizes okay so it's like me they come in medium large and extra large is it yeah okay mm, okay can't try it on oh you're not allowed to try it on and a medium tie size is tiny <laughs> You remember you went for the larger one there and you were like, this looks oh, like it a fit me in a vest. Painted onto me. I was like, where do you sell the clothes with the lads carrying a bit of timber? <laughs> Less timber now, thanks to the lads in the camp. There was something for you here. I made a really nice clothes. The suit. No, no, I'm all right, thanks. The suit. It's 32 degrees. Mm -hmm. Can I try on? Ah, Is it thank okay? you. Yes. Yes, the lads can. Yeah, I like to be baggy. <laughs> I like to be baggy. Yeah. We might have a winner. Uh, up, up. At the end as well? Yeah, yeah. I'll try. And mm. madam, how much is it? Ah, 150. Mm. 150. Okay, last so it's day. our last day. Last, last session, I can't believe it. I know. So we're going to give it literally everything and hopefully that you can see a difference in how much we've improved. We feel like we've improved so much in the Muay Thai. Muay Thai, sorry, I keep, I've cracked myself. I keep, I've an awful habit of saying Muay Thai. It's Muay Thai is the proper pronunciation of it. But uh, yeah, so hopefully that you can see the difference in us too. Oh.
Okay, so it seems like we've uh, kept the most fun class for the very end. So in this one, we're doing a lot of combinations. So before in our training over the last few weeks, we've been kind of doing our, you know, our jab, our punch, our hook uh, in a kind of three, maybe four uh, piece combination. In this class though, we're doing 12, 16, 18, 21. Trying to remember them all is just, it's, <laughs> it's just so funny. It's as tough for the mind as it is for the body, but it's so much fun training. Cause you get halfway and then you're just going to panic and you're like, you're just throwing any punch. If you can try to keep composed and relax, that's the one thing that's been said, especially uh, to me by, by the coaches, that I need to relax more, I'm very tense when I'm doing it, and kind of because you're doing that, then you can become tired very quickly, and also you're overthinking things and stuff like that. So, but he did say as well, you know, we've only been doing it a few weeks, so that sort of comes with experience. As in, the more you're training, the more you're doing it, you just become more relaxed uh, by nature. Whereas we're kind of thinking about everything just a little bit too much. So, but yeah, it's amazing fun. The combinations are brilliant. It's such a good workout. It's actually sweating trying to think about them all. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> in combo. Fourteen. <laughs> Brain freeze. We'll get it, we'll get it. One more time, one more. We can do it. Go. Nice. Yes, you can teach me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to do it backwards. Yeah, yeah. Do it backwards. <laughs> so, after 28 amazing days, our Muay Thai camp was sadly over. One, one, two. Uh -huh. well done. We just want to say a massive thank you to the Camp Muay Thai Resorts. We have had the best time over the past months and it's all thanks to the amazing coaches and the staff at the camp. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do it again. Check out yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See, see you later, Joe. Take it easy. Bye -bye. Boom. Bye-bye. Pleasure. Thank you. Take it easy. Uh, oh. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thanks so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you so See you much. tomorrow. No, no, we're leaving. Going we're going no, home. No, cannot. Oh, we're not leaving. Thanks very much, lads. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, you too. <laughs> oh, we're gonna miss it. <laughs> Learning Muay Thai has been an incredible experience and one we would highly recommend. We trained every day, we ate amazing food, we lost some weight. 81.3. So that's just under six kilos. Well done. 67.9. So what's that? Six on the button, is it? Six kilos on the button. Mm. <laughs> and we met some amazing people. We can't recommend this training facility in Chiang Mai enough. So if you are considering coming to Thailand to take part in a Muay Thai camp, well then definitely come to the camp. You won't regret it. So before we go, thanks so much for watching. If you do like this video, please leave a thumbs up just to support our channel. For all of our daily updates, you can follow us on Instagram at GoTimeTravels. We still have plenty more videos to come from Thailand, so please make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of it. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.